Good job, everybody. My name is Oscar and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. Now, if you've been on the channel for a while, you'll know I have actually played this a few times back on the channel uh, when it first came out, and I absolutely loved the game. Now, Frontier Developments approached me and asked me if I could do a video on the new DLC for that, and so this is a sponsored video by them. But of course, I wasn't going to say no because I enjoyed the base game so much, it just wouldn't make sense to say no. So, here we are, it's called Return to Jurassic Park, I haven't played it yet, there is a link in the description to the Steam store where you can buy this DLC if it tickles your fancy. But today we're just going to have a playthrough, I'm not going to play through it all because I don't want to spoil it for you, I'm going to be doing the tutorial but also I won't be doing all of that either because I don't want to spoil it for you, we just want to sort of get a feeling for the game. This is so cool! It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like, seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating. Uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, Perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. Okay, here we are. In game. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar. We got five deaths apparently. Five. I think that means five dinosaurs are dead. Yeah. yeah I remember that. Okay. Um, hunted down by a Velociraptor. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Okay, cool. Right now, yeah, we have trank darts. That's useful. Oh, yes, I remember you being able to drive it. It's so cool. Nice. Come on, get him back. No, 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 he's about to kill him. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just fighting on through the sedative. That's fine. <laughs> Bit delayed. That's all good. Nice. Okay, okay. Run, run. Ooh! Jeez. Crikey. That was, that's new. Okay. Oh, right. Hang on. Do we have other dinosaurs then? I can see dinosaurs on the map, but... I didn't even realize I thought they were all dead. Oh! I didn't even realize we had all these guys. Wow, okay. Cool. Sleeping. I don't think it's really. Probably. Oh no! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it sleeping? Yes! Gee, 14 grand for that. Socializing. Hmm. Maybe these guys aren't the most sociable creatures. And to be fair, I wouldn't be if I looked like that. Right, you guys seem sociable. You are you having a chat? Yes, yes, yes. Nice, thank you. I think it was a Galamans thing. Research item from Research Center, breeding countermeasure. All life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome one, survival, two, reproduction. With man, with man, 
Uh, you can add a third. Domination. Man? Oh, boy. All right, anyway, you're not wrong, which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaur's breeding. What? It's happening oh, again, you. Hammond. No, What's happening? I won't allow it. Sabotage power. Oh, we're being sabotaged. Great. We'll I need to know. Oh. Did it just die or is it... Okay, cool. Well, didn't mean for that. I don't think anyway, but I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I think it has just died. Or maybe not, I don't know. Sleeping. It's, had a, it's having a nap. 360, no scope. <laughs> Brilliant. Of course that worked. Right, so that hit them. Come on. Okay, good. We call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? It's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive on Isla Bilbar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. Right, so we're back on the new island now. And we've got to construct a ranger outpost. Oh, okay, so this is a completely new island. The way they were talking about it, I thought it meant that they'd already like set things up, but it looks like we're starting from completely new. Cool. This is when it's Do the best. You know this game. This As I said before, guys, there's a link to this in the description if you want to go and check it out yourself. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I, I haven't played this game in, I think, over a year since it, since it came out. I haven't haven't really played it much, and this has managed to grab me and pull me back in. So if you did enjoy the base game, definitely consider getting this because it's it's really done a great job of pulling me back in. Okay, isolate the group of stegosaurus from the other dinosaurs. Right, where's the stegos? Stegos, stegos, stegos. Here they are. Isolate them. How are we going to do that? Oh, do we need to tranquilize them, maybe? Oh. Medicated something I don't mean to. Cool. Well, that should be done. Oh! Crikey! Right, yeah, these guys need <laughs> separating as soon as possible from the rest of them. What a hit. Okay, are you done? Ooh! God! Okay, drive, 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 drive. Oh my god! Okay, that one's going to drown if we don't pick him up soon because his head is fully submerged in the water. Alright, that's done. Okay, cool. We should be able to take them now to a enclosure, I think. Where's the best place for that? Finish that one there. Right, now we should be able to take these guys and just plunk them in there. That's the hope, anyway. This might I might have done this wrong. Request it wants us to isolate them, so I mean that's what I'm doing. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> that looks so cool. Brilliant. Genuine, if you haven't played Jurassic World Evolution yet, you need to, because this is literally the best bit of it. And I mean, if you enjoyed the base game, you might as well play this. Oh, I oh, know you need a bit of forest. In fairness, I'll give him a bit of forest. That's a bit, a bit rude of me not to actually, considering how foresty they are. Please don't try and kill me this time. Nice. Photograph one of the isolated stegosaurus. Really nice eating from a feeder, photograph one of them drinking. 
Okay, good. We did actually need a water and hold them. The dinosaurs aren't eating or drinking. We need to. Oh, okay, so they're not eating or drinking. Step one: slow them down. Hit them with the trank dart. Wow. There you go. Get up quicker. We need to quick draw. Come on. <laughs> the sniper is too slow at standing up with his gun. It's his only job. He would have thought he'd be better at it. Come on. Tests on these dinosaurs are coming back all over the place. Looks like these animals, they've been manipulated. Um, theories? I have plenty. Which one do you like the most? Hammond told us there was another company trying to steal InGen's research. Biosyn. Right. They got to Nedry. John believes it was Nedry's greed and Biosyn's money that became the catalyst for what happened to all of us the first time around. Hmm. You think they're at it again? Or maybe they never left. Let's combat this first, then figure out who's to blame. We'll need to research and use a DNA sequencer to neutralize the effects of the faulty genome. Deploy the revised breeding count to the sex a dart based solution to the symptoms. The causes, however, they run right to the core of these oh, okay, dinosaurs, so to their DNA. Send our team out again. This will require a recompiled nope, nope. genome oh, cool. and new incubations. You. You. Lob shot. No, okay, I think that's just medicate. Hopefully he's not going to dive and overdose now. Nice. Don't want to be in here when they wake up because I get a feeling they're going to be quite angry at me. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Didn't even notice him. They just look like rocks. Nice. Right, let's get out of here before they wake up. Oh, transmission. Okay. So I hear we've had a spot of good news. We're ready to proceed with incubating new dinosaurs. John, you were never ready to bring dinosaurs back to life. A little bit more belief, Dr. Malcolm, and we'll be there soon. Chaos doesn't require belief. It's the thing with this island, there's really not much room for how... It's like, it's a really big area, but there's no... Everything's really narrow. We've got three angry dinosaurs now, and they're all heading towards the guest area. Perfect. The archive Just of genome data. Right, well, by the looks of it, we're about halfway through the challenges, I think. So I'm going to leave this one here just because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, if you do want to go and buy the DLC for yourself, because uh, obviously there's no point in me just running through it in the first video. If you do, however, want more of this game, please let me know and I will quite happily do the rest of the DLC in videos. Um, if not, that's fine. Just let me know what you think. Definitely would recommend the DLC. As I said, it just brings it, it brings a ton of new content to the game. It brings new challenges. If you're like me and you really enjoyed the game when it first came out, but you sort of drifted off because it came, it, it, it sort of aged, so there was no point in playing it anymore. This really, really definitely does give you a reason to go back and pick it up again. So I would 100% recommend the DLC. It's not that expensive either. Currently, uh, very positive reviews on Steam. I haven't had a single problem with it but I mean I haven't had any bugs or anything like that everything has been really self-explanatory generally um, so yeah I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something to spice up your dinosaur life just want to say thank you again to Frontier Developments for sponsoring this video and uh, of course thank you to you for watching it but if you did enjoy the video please give a like if you're feeling really, really generous subscribe to the Crunchy Tape and until the next one I'll see you guys in the next one try my friends mm -hmm.